So, lots of people around the world think that all Canadians do all day is just say A and drink maple syrup like it's water. But I'm here to teach you how to truly be Canadian. First of all, know that it's usually natives and people from small towns that say A. Saying A to make fun of Canada is pretty much the same thing as saying America to make fun of Americans. Second, you must be bilingual in both English and French, although I am still working on the latter, but then again, I am also working on Spanish and Polish, so, <laughs> you know. Third, when you are hitting on a selected person, you must use pickup lines that are Canadianized so that they are more effective. For example, on a scale of 1 to Canada, how free are you? Or, can you make me just like Canada and be my queen? No doubt, you know, women will love that for sure. Reimagine famous movies and cartoons as if there were Canadians in it. Like, instead of a flying magic carpet, you would have a moose. Because honestly, either way, uh, there is no chance that you're going to ride either of those safely. So, Fifth, in order to truly be a Canadian, there is no need to worry or struggle with the concept of free healthcare. Six. Have an awesome Prime Minister, who also happens to be very attractive, and be able to admit that he is all of those things, and not even needing to be attracted to men. 7. <laughs> Say sorry about a hundred times a day, even if it's not your fault. Or rather, just be very polite in general. Unfortunately, that is one of the stereotypes of a Canadian that is very true. 8. You must know what it means when a French Canadian says tabarnak and also know which context it has been used in. 9. You must be able to survive winter with minimal or no complaint whatsoever on how cold it is and enjoy and appreciate summer when it does come. 10. You must know how to survive in the wilderness without any help from anyone or equipment because to be honest most of the land in Canada actually is wilderness. So good luck with that. Bonus! Know that it's pronounced putin and not poutine. Yeah, I learned that the hard way from a real French Canadian. So, mwah. Now if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Love you! Mwah.